the, the Presidential Management Fellows Program is obviously the government's flagship leadership program. It is beyond a doubt the best way to enter the federal government. A superior on-ramp to the federal government and federal service. First of all, the PMF program is very prestigious. Um, and it's, it's really an outstanding opportunity for you to come into the government on an accelerated promotion path, uh, getting really a, a high-level view and kind of ideally uh, leadership development training that's going to allow you to be successful throughout the, the course of your first two years in the program. So it's kind of an unusual opportunity in that you can usually see different aspects of the business of government. Uh, you can also have the opportunity to see multiple, no, multiple offices, maybe multiple agencies. Uh, so it's quite unusual, I think, to be able to come right out of a graduate program and find yourself not only observing leadership from the highest levels, but also actively contributing to leadership from the highest levels. It's the best way to enter the federal government. It opens you up to a whole bunch of potential job positions that are not available to the general public. And more than that, it basically brands you as a star going into government and it affects people's careers 10 and 15 and 20 years on. And we know this from our alumni who um, seem to uh, clearly advance much more rapidly because they are they are, have been presidential management fellows. The PMFs have many advantages when it comes to this program versus their peers. The first and foremost has got to be accelerated promotions and mentorship. The PMFs really do move up um, quite quickly compared to their peers, not only through the GS system, but really through their experience and the people that they get to meet. Uh, when the PMF program is being properly used, in my view, uh, you're able to leverage skills that you've learned very recently and practice them, which is of course good for you. Uh, but it's also good for the American people because they're able to benefit from the newest uh, ideas, the newest uh, literature and techniques in a variety of different fields. The, the training has been incredible. The way that the, you come in with a cohort of people and it, you have a built-in support network of, of current and former PMFs has been amazing. Uh, the rapid promotion is obviously great and the, the security that comes with knowing that at the end of two years, you've really made a niche for yourself in an agency and you have a chance to move into something really meaningful. I think the PMF program um, has absolutely helped to move me forward in my career in a way that I couldn't have without it. The folks who come in, they get training, they get rotations, they get mentorship, uh, and I think people allow them, because they are fellows, they allow them a greater breadth of experience um, which I think is a nice way to come into federal service. It is a way to, in my, you know, expedite the process, not just to get into the government, but to get yourself at a higher level. And I don't just mean salary-wise, even though your GS level is higher in PMF, it's the exposure, it's the people you network with, it's through the leadership opportunities, it's through the rotations, that you get to almost fast forward in ways that other people who go through traditional routes don't get. Uh, I, I highly encourage folks to apply in the first place. We have so many disciplines in the graduate school uh, environment out there, whether it's uh, public policy, uh, architecture like uh, I came out of, the, the legal field, sociology, the higher education field. There's such a great diversity of candidates that the federal government definitely wants to engage and uh, recruit and select the best of the best uh, across the nation to help us with the challenges, uh, the grand challenges and, and, and challenges that are going to move the nation forward. Think about, you know, if you were to spend two years in one particular job, um, it's very different than spending two years rotating to eight different jobs. The amount of people you meet, the experience you get, and the ability to become a chameleon in these different offices is invaluable skills that you don't get any other time in your career. You know, it's an incredible program in terms of opportunities it allows for the students. It carries a lot of weight on a resume for future experience, even if you ultimately don't want to stay in the federal government system. It's an outstanding opportunity to come in and immediately contribute to society in a very meaningful way. You know, I, I spend a lot of time speaking with students from universities, both locally and, and across the country, about what it is that they want out of life. What do they want out of work? Um, and I keep hearing, we want meaningful work. We want to do things that matter. We want to uh, work at a place that has uh, corporate social responsibility. And, and the thing that I'm on that I tell them a lot is that, you know, when you work for the federal government, you have actual social responsibility, just straight up social responsibility. The work we do is tremendously important. Uh, and certainly with the way the budget is, uh, you're going to find that agencies more and more need to find high caliber people to do more with less. And, and to do more meaningful work. It seems to me that if we won't have the resources to do 
all of the work that we're perhaps asked to do, the work that's going to remain is going to be more complex and more important and more impactful. And that's what you'd be signing up for if you were to navigate this program. So I think it's an excellent opportunity.